All right, uh, I wanted to show you uh, games running in 3D through GameStream um, on the Shield TV. Uh, this requires, well, doesn't 100% require this. Uh, there are free methods of this. Uh, the one I have is not a free method. I find it to be the best for this. But there's also like Vererio uh, Percept, however you pronounce it, Vererio Perception. Um, and uh, this is TriDef. I'm using TriDef. Uh, NVIDIA's 3D method doesn't really work. I heard someone say they got it working, but it was like a headache. Uh, or at least sounded like one. And I'm going to show you. I have two. It looks like I have duplicates here, but I have one if I want to play the game in, in 2D. And then I have one if I want to play the game in 3D. Uh, how I'm doing is that I'm using Triad 3D, I create, um, if it doesn't support the game, I create a Steam link from Steam, you know, you can right click on your uh, game and uh, create a link to the desktop and add that to, uh, to Triad, it's the launcher, and then once you do that, you can actually create another uh, link uh, from the launcher of Triad and that will launch the game in 3D. So you don't have to go through their launcher or add their launcher to GeForce Experience. So basically you take the link that TriDef creates, add that to GeForce Experience, and then once you do that, you can launch your game directly from GameStream in 3D. Um, and I'll show you. Uh, so here we have Resident Evil Revelations. We're going to launch it in 2D, like that. I'm going to sit down and stop swaying back and forth like a nutcase, making noises on the floor. So, there it is, it's in 2D, um, like normal. You know, la la la. And so I can launch it in 2D. The only thing is, once you launch a game in 3D, you have to end Steam on your PC. Uh, to get it right now this menu would normally be in 3d by the way, so it's not and stuff. I'm just I just wanted to do this quickly so you can see it running in 3d So I want to show you that it's not running in 3d also it'll tell you if it's using uh, Tridev so now I'm going to launch it in 3d So like I said if you play the game in 3d you have to end steam on your PC when you're done or the games will launch again in 3d so anything you have in the launcher for TriDef will actually launch in 3D. Uh, there is a way to end it from um, the Shield. Um, I'll link you to a, a, de a remote desktop uh, tutorial on NVIDIA's forums. And you see it says in the corner, TriDef 3D Ignition, whatever. I'm using Power 3D. Uh, Power 3D is kind of like a 3D conversion, or like I guess kind of like a 2D to 3D conversion but with a lot more, how I understood it was uh, Tridef looks at the game's depth and everything and, and so it's, it really is the same uh, 3D effect that you're going to get with the, uh, the native 3D that it creates but it's, it's kind of complicated, I don't know but it's, it's able to actually read stuff from the, the game to create a great uh, 3D image that really just looks just like the native 3D um, whatever. So that's what I use because it doesn't actually hit the frame rate at all and uh, it looks just as good if not better sometimes. Um, so we are starting and you see that it has the red and green, I nor uh, red and blue, red and whatever, see it. Um, I normally use blue and amber, which gives you more accurate color uh, reproduction or whatever the fuck. Uh, but because most people actually have red and blue for this video, I'm going to be using red and blue. So if you want to see it in 3D, you can. Uh, or you more, more than likely wouldn't be able to. Shut up, me. <laughs> um, Alright. 
And if you remember, this game was originally released on the 3DS, and it was in 3D. Uh, I had it. Um, and being able to play it in 3D, I, I liked it. I like the depth with the, the scary shit, and just have it on a big screen. It's cool. Um, this is the first one, of course, not the second one. I'm just going to try to actually, while I'm bullshitting and can't shut up, I'm going to um, try to actually get into the game. So I can talk and do shit at the same time. La la la. So this is not a 3D TV, it's just an old TV. You could also do side-by-side -side 3D as well. So, but Seeing as I don't have a TV that supports side-by-side, -side, I'm going with the old school 3D here. And uh, it's a little uncomfortable with the red and blue. I think I recommend you picking up some of those, uh, whatever, the blue and amber glasses. So zombies, or what not a zombie. Uh, actually, that's the wrong door. Whatever the hell they call this thing, it's going to pop out. They got this guy. I'm going to have to stab him to death with a amount of fucking ammo. Okay, he's good. He's done. So yeah, uh, so it's in 3D now, and I'm playing three games in 3D on on the uh, Shield uh, TV. So I also got this working with Project Cars. Use the Power 3D for that too. It works fine. Um, I actually thought the Power 3D looks better than the, uh, the regular 3D thingy. And, uh, yeah. I think the Power 3D uh, mm -hmm. should be less, have less glitches and stuff is what they said. Uh, it doesn't really have to worry, I guess, about certain things and blah, blah, blah. And it's more compatible. So, and it doesn't drop your frame rate to shit. So, and it looks great. You know, it doesn't look like a 2D to 3D conversion or anything like that. So that's that. Let me get out of here now and I'm going to show you... Um, I'm going to show you uh, how to end uh, the 3D shit so that you can get back to 2D gaming. Uh, at least. I'm not going to show you how to do the desktop thing. I'm just going to launch the desktop. Why did I... Desktop is all the way up here. So I'm going to launch the desktop here, as you see. Um, if you have a mouse hooked up, which I do, uh, you can use the mouse for this. If not, hold down start on the um, on the, the controller, and you can move the mouse around, and you can also zoom in. So you can zoom in, and you can move around with the left stick, and just go ahead, click here. I can do this right here. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little more and move over. And we have instances of Steam up, and that one ended. You're gonna to wanna to end Steam. And that's basically it, just end Steam. So now we've ended Steam, and that's all we really needed to do. We're just gonna quit out of remote desktop, and once you do that, you should be able to get back to your game the normal way and play in 2D. You just have to make sure that Steam is ended. There you go. Uh, now I'm just gonna. I think I'll just play some more uh, 3D games, though. I'm gonna show you that. Nah, fuck it. It, it works. God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's do Skyrim. Do Skyrim in 3D. Launch it in 3D. Um, to change to Power 3D, there's a hotkey on your keyboard. Um. If you have a keyboard hooked up to your Shield TV, it should work. Uh, but the hot key on your keyboard, I don't have a keyboard set up. Oh, seeing as I created this link, it's not the same as um, as uh, their official support, so I actually have to go and hit play. So there you go. 
So the hot key on the keyboard for Power 3D to turn it on and off is Shift-Alt-V. And we will that Shift-Alt-V. And that caused the game to crash, I think. Let me see if I can pull it back up. And I'm going to give it one more shot. I don't even know. I don't know how much it would hit the frame rate, though. Let's just go and play. See if I'm being chased or anything. Put my glasses on. And this is half color. Um, the 3D is half color. I don't know. Yeah, 3D's. All right. I don't know if uh, it. I selected that because I figured it may make it a little more of a comfortable viewing experience for the red and sea and glasses, but uh, I don't know. It may not be. Huh. It seems like there's a bit of an input delay. Uh, I, I don't think I actually set the optimization. See, I'm playing it now on my PC to see. No, I think that's how the game is. Um, the game's like that. Okay. Maybe if I use the mouse. Okay, the game doesn't work with a mouse if you hook the controller up, so. Yeah, it just seems like. It feels like there's input delay, but. It seems like that's how it is. I don't know. Yeah, it was Skyrim. Got my my axe out. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't care about this. Oh, whatever. Done. But yeah, so here's Skyrim on the TV. 3D. See if somebody's gonna attack me. I don't know if I saved my progress. Was it there was a guy over there, I think. I think I killed him. Okay, so yeah, there's Skyrim playing in 3D on my TV. Also remember if you have um, a phone, uh, an Android phone or whatever, you can um, download Moonlight Game Stream. And if you have a head mounted display or anything like that, you can actually play these games not only in 3D but also virtual reality um, using something like Trident, uh, Tri using something like, um, what the hell is the name of that, that uh, app? Oh, I wish I could fucking think. Uh, Trinus VR. It's called Trinus VR. And also, if you don't have a game stream PC, this will work with another application. For this, it actually has virtual reality settings built into it. And if I can actually remember the damn name of the friggin' thing, there is another app for this. Ah. Why on earth can't can I remember this? Um... Kino console, Kino console. I had to close my eyes to remember the way the banner looked to remember the game or the, the app. But it actually has virtual reality controls built in. But it, it doesn't, even though it says it does, it doesn't really support 60 frames per second, which is annoying. We, yeah. So that's that. Hmm. So there's this guy over here. Oh, this isn't a person. Uh, can I, uh, ah, fuck. I wanted to pull out my, uh, my, uh, yeah, whatever, who cares. Anyways, I'm going to end this now. Uh, I think that's it, really. I'm, I'm not going to go any further. Uh, maybe I'll do some gameplay of some 3D stuff. 
some just direct gameplay so you don't have to listen to me fucking yapping. Alright, thank you for watching.